Watching some BF versus GF. I'm gonna make another green smoothie. It's gonna be a good day. Check it out. Mmm. Lemons, bananas, dates, oranges, apples, garlic, celery, green grapes, kale, and dandelion greens. Mmm. Green smoothies. It's time to clean the bathroom. Awesome, it's all done. Pretty clean now. Toilet's all nice and clean. Bathroom, bathtub's all nice and clean. Awesome. Waiting for my friend to pick me up. We're gonna go to the movable feast. I hear my friend George here. And Pete's in the back there too. Look at look he has a convertible and We're everything. Rolling. Pretty awesome. Going into BevMo. Right? It's like a liquor store. <laughs> Never been inside. I was look at this place. It's the Costco liquor store. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is amazing. <laughs> Document my, my badge. Your his FBI badge. I've had this since fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> so me. awesome. Yeah. It says Agent George on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the movable feast. I've only been there like I've been there like twice. It was pretty cool. Man. Pretty cool stuff. What kind of food? I don't know, it's just like mixture of like everything. So yeah, we're saying like chicken and donuts and like Korean barbecue in a burrito. So it's a gathering cool. of trucks, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's just like a food truck like feast. Yeah. Ah, from all over the peninsula? Or? Yeah, pretty much. It was kind of disappointing today. There's not that much, there's not that much here. Let's you guys can go over and check it out. I'm gonna take the 10 minutes to put the top up. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It's like Transformers yeah, here. Yeah, kind of like Transformers. Okay. Ooh. Like a giant toy version. My gosh. So so they both went to the same school as me yeah. at Cornell. Pretty awesome. And back into Works the car. at Google. <laughs> okay, there's chowder, grilled cheese, twisted chilled. What is that? Ice cream? Eat on there's nothing here. Oh my gosh. What maybe you maybe you wanna go somewhere else. Oh, they had something here and it got erased. <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> we got an egg and beef, chicken this is a sticky rice. Braised chicken bowl. Chicken. Awesome. Here's the buckets we have to grab. Or we can just grab some that are already there. Get nice and close. There we there go. Now. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Got a lot of bok choy in there. I think. Yes, we got a Vadering. I was like, I need to do a Vadering picture. I'm going on a power trip now. Guys need to do a Vader pic Vadering. Watch. The magic transformation of the convertible. Yeah. Up. You keep this so nice. Yeah, man. It's my baby. What's her name? Pandora. <laughs> Pandora? Because she's boxy in a world of trouble. <laughs> nice. Look who's waiting at the door. Guess we're gonna go soon on a walk. Ah! Doggy walking time. There it is. Hey, wait. Yeah. Yes, it is. There he goes. Yeah. There he goes again. And even more. 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 What a happy dog. We're on our next day of the Get Bentley into Fitness Shape training session over here. You get a 30 second break before you have to start your next cardio sesh. Here he comes. Come on, again, again, again. No breaks, no breaks. <laughs> so happy, so tired. What a nice life Billy has. All of everyone in the world, I think he had the best life. He goes, <laughs> You're so crazy. Oh, where'd it go? There's like a ladybug that landed on Bentley. Oh, there it is. He's trying to eat it. Ladybug, it's just a ladybug. My gosh, like it landed on it. I, I don't even think he could have felt that. It landed on his back and he's like, oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? We're at the subway. Time for the gym.
Okay, going to Potle now. Potle, Potle, what you gonna do? Got my Potle there. I was like, so do you guys, have you ever heard it called Potle before? And they're like, no. <laughs> I was like, really? You call it Potle all the time. Chipotle and watching the movie. Yeah, I can't wait. This time I watched a Netflix movie that I had already seen a while ago that had come out. Thought I would give it a second try. It is Children of Men. I first saw this movie when it came out in 2006. I did not really care for it at all at the time. I thought it was so grim and so just like unhappy. Anyway, I was thinking about it. I read an article recently about these movies such as Oblivion and they also mentioned Children of Men. Then I thought about it and I was like, I think I should give it a second chance because I know all my friends love that movie. So I watched it. Guess what? I think it is one of the best movies ever. Ever! The movie is about what happens in the future. The year is 2027 and Women have become infertile. Nobody is able to have babies. The world is just in great depression because the youngest person in the world who is 18 years old just died. And the extinction of mankind is imminent because women cannot have babies anymore. The future world that Alfonso Cuaron created is amazing. It's so well thought out. Everything, like the special effects stand up to this day. It's it was so well done. The movie stars Clive Owen and Julian Moore. I don't want to give too much away, but what happens is they find this one girl. It's revealed that she is pregnant. When I watched the movie, it really affected me. I was thinking about it. If something like this happened in the future, really, like, how would you, how would the world really feel and react to something like that? Love that Alfonso Cuaron used these one take shots that, like, have the record for, like, the longest takes ever. They last, like, I don't know, like minutes of just like camera following like without a cut through these action scenes. This is pretty much the furthest from a happy movie you can get. It is just incredibly depressing. But if you want to see one of the best movies ever made, give Children of Men a go. What do you guys think about it? Did you like it? Put it in the comments below. I'd give it 4 out of 4 stars. Definitely. Are you bored? Are you bored? Oh. Look at you going. <laughs> I'm totally just throwing lighter food. <laughs> ah, the safe way. Like we're dismembering the Christmas tree. Mmm, <laughs> smells like Christmas. <laughs> That's not, you have to like stick it underneath the coal, I think, or else this